How's the war going? In the traditional sense. 4%? Okay. And we'll get no infamy for this, so we'll see what we can do. 27. Uh, Mexican Texas is 11, so... What can we get for this? This is... 40... 35%. Nevada, Utah is probably the next one. But we want to occupy their um, well-populated states to prevent them from uh, getting troops there. And then I will double back with some of these troops and keep an army nearby the ones I'm occupying to do things. What? In the USA trade flows freely from one to another. From one... Okay. And few, if any, restrictions exist on trade between our merchants. If one of our neighbor countries, however, there's... In one of our neighbor countries, however, there still exists heavy import restrictions on wares and goods. And this is apparently especially true for weapons and firearms. Our two systems have been locked horn... Have locked horns in one of our border provinces. Where an American merchant has set up shop trading weapons across the border. While we could inform our neighbor about the situation. There are very few legal means of stopping the merchant in question. After all, free trade applies to guns as well. The merchant's a free man. We don't care about Mexico's view of us. We're about to take a third of their country. <laughs> we don't give a damn what Mexico thinks. Um, If I can, I'm going to take some of their states too. But I probably can't. It's tough. It's tough to do that. Oh no, Lipidite Mold. Let's take these guys back. To, uh, occupy some stuff. I think Mexico's basically crushed now. Four military score. At war goal. So this is at what now? Uh, 63. So that's 11. So 63, I could get 37 more. And there it goes. Okay. Okay, so we can see where everybody is, that's good. Yeah, focusing those soldiers was a, a really good idea. It's really paid dividends for me at the moment. Alright, we've got another... Oh, this is in... Where is it? I don't know, but our fleet is done. Let's get one more steam transport. And then we'll build... Let's say 
five mana wars. There we go. Now I'm losing money because I'm buying ships, which is to be expected. Ships is expensive. Now, in reality, um, when they finished the war with uh, Mexico, there was, uh, you know, they were really wanting to annex quite a bit of Mexico. They didn't end up doing it because, uh, well, it was seen as being something that uh, a, you know, proper democracy wouldn't do. As a game, I don't really care about things like that, but uh, you would think they would have something where you get like a buttload of infamy to grab more of Mexico or something like that, but that would make this start really unbalanced, I guess. I'm moving forward to see if I can see any of their troops. I don't think they think they have any. I want to keep these armies relatively close to each other. Alright. So we'll see if we have 11 war score left at the end of this. Um, Mexico doesn't have any islands or anything. Getting 100% war score would be pretty easy. They'll probably give up before 100% war score anyway. Alright, let's get... Um, what do I need for decisions here? Nothing, I don't think. Let's get um, a national focus. That would be very good for us. We're not reading my newspaper. Revolution Hawaii! Afghanistan goes to war! Ottoman Empire's attacking them. Revolution in Bremen again. I oh, know it was, um... Was it Bremen? Yeah, it was. Okay. That's probably causing Rus uh, Prussia some problems. Leave them be. Anti-slavery is the best kind of slavery. Okay. This is 90, so... No, we're not going to have enough to get New Mexico. That's alright. We can get to it two wars. No big deal. That'll give us an excuse to go to war again. I mean, we haven't lost any... We haven't gained any infamy so far, so... Well, we did from doing that one thing that gave us the core on, uh... Cuba. Actually, no. Let me move up here. I haven't given this guy orders to move. Really should do that, eh? Oh, Mexico has troops here. Hey. 
I don't care about your siege. Okay, whatever. Apparently they do have more troops down there. But that's not going to help them. Alright, but... I should probably move these guys down here. To support these guys. Rather than... Uh, I'm going to go here so that I can kind of, uh, I almost said put some tackle zones on it, as if I was playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> to make it so they have to pass by my armies to do anything. So here they can go around, but they have to go straight by my, one of my armies in any way they can go. So I can kind of intercept them a little bit. Any more armies I can build? Yes. For right now I'm just building infantry. Oh, there it is. One. See, in New Mexico's 11, so I couldn't do it. So that'd be 101. What a jerk game. How ahistorical is that? Oh, they were allied with Colombia. I didn't realize that. Hey. Oh, they're actually winning as opposed to compared to us. Whatevs. Doesn't affect my war with Mexico. War between Ethiopia and Egypt. Uh, is there, are they still war with the Ottomans? No. Okay. Heated debate in Illinois. What is this over? Free trade. That's fine. I'd say from a technical standpoint, protectionism is, protectionism is probably better, but I don't care that much. Okay, so this is basically just carpeting here. God is dead. Moralism's something we want. Or have, I should say, so we shouldn't be too harsh on it.
Nope, there's Mexico. Hello, Mexico. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's got a huge army here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Two slightly large armies. By slightly large, I mean 3,000 guys. Do you think you're going? Not here, that's for certain. I do have more important concerns, but I'll crush them anyway. Hey, I wonder if they have dudes in uh, Mexico City. Let's find out. Prophylaxis against malaria. Excellent. That's an awesome tech. It's kind of good that we have uh, one of our cores left so that when I do another war I can do it basically for free in five years. Yep. The expected outcome. Oh no. And of course, it's probably a good idea to get rid of these uh, red um, units. Is to increase my pops a little bit better. Okay, looks like Colombia's out of the war. Is the USCA out of the war? Yes. Okay. So it's just you and me, Mexico. So 40 out of 90. And the national focus. Should probably get positivism. And then start working on industry techs. We have a soldier's focus here. Let's do a worker focus in New England. It used to be that sometimes when you occupied a state, it would uh, make the war cheaper, but it's not like that anymore. Or maybe that's in a different game. I always get these games mixed up with their mechanics sometimes. It's from them being so similar, but very different in actual gameplay. Oops. After this war is over, we could have a... Uh, a little bit of a respite from this. Um, if anybody is disappointed by my choice of a, a country, I'm sorry, but um, I just wanted to pick something a little bit easier at the beginning. No! What are you doing? Well, it looks like he's going to try to go. I 
Oh, that's why. Because I actually had to cross there. Dred Scott, having been a slave, remains a slave. Dred Scott versus St Sanford. Dred Scott, born a slave in Virginia, has, with the help of abolitionist legal advisors, sued his owner, claiming that his present residency in a free state requires his emancipation. The United States Supreme Court has ruled that this is in fact not the case, and effectively that property rights of slave owners are, are protected regardless of where in the Union the slave resides. The case has caused an enormous alarm among northern abolitionists who see it as the first step to a full extension of the institution of slavery to the whole Union. Worrying news, man. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, uh, that stuff. That's bad. Right, let's, uh, Let's get guys back to Mexico City, shall we? Now the newspaper. And this is going pretty quickly, so I'll probably be done with this faster than I would be a game where I'm playing as, you know, somebody difficult. Just a relaxing game, so I don't have to think about it too much. The Corwin Amendment. Now, I might be mistaken, but I think I, I'll get more war score for occupying California, because that was the original war goal. Chamber of Commerce protests. This is... Ah, yes, we don't care about elites. F them. Social justice, traditionalism. Get owned, Mexico. All right. Oh, more Mexico. I don't know how that was faster, but okay. Unfortunately, my plan was to get Colombia in my sphere. Oh, there's still a war with me. It's the USCA that isn't at war with me, I see. Um, I was planning to get them in my sphere next, but I can't because I'll have a truce with them. I should really start influencing Mexico as soon as I can, too, to prevent anybody else from getting friendly relations with them. Because that could be very bad for me later on down the road if I were wanting to extend my claims into Mexico. It has been put at rest forever, all the agitating questions relating to our particular institution. Peculiar institution. His words are soft-spoken but carry on an inner flame of righteousness, righteous anger directed at anyone at anything he deems as threatening the institution of slavery. Fire eaters... A radical pro-slavery agitator have appeared in Nashville. All men are created equal, bro. Stop being such a jerk. It's just because you say it's not an issue anymore doesn't mean it isn't. Oop. I can do a thing. Let's see. Immigrant attraction. That's what we want. 3%. 5%. I like that. 5%. There we go. Universal vote franchise. Won't change a thing. Probably. <laughs> nope. So they're ready to give up at 67. 
and obviously this is still 11. They might be willing to accept it, but I really do want to leave a state there to take later. Okay, if they'll accept this, uh, then I'm going to take it. Yeah! Arizona Granite Statehood. Do not extend slavery. Meta Utah. Do not extend slavery. California. Do not extend slavery. Create a state in Montana. And do not extend slavery. Okie dokie. Eh, no love lost with Columbia. Let's raise our relations with Dems. They're allied with Austria and Netherlands. Yeah. Russia. So. No, Mexico just has the stupid thing here. Let's get all our mans out of here. And we will reorganize them. And we'll probably call it a session that was pretty good. War between Spain and Morocco. Yeah, whatever. Canfu Factory in Illinois. Uh, I should probably max that investment. Luxury Clothes Factory. Build Railroad in Texas. So in five years, we will get the chance of taking this from them. Which we will do. And we will probably end up taking... Uh, Sonora, uh, Sonora and Chihuahua from them. These used to be colonies, so they used to be really easy to take. But, before we do that, there's Cuba to think about. Puerto Rico. And the Philippines. I don't think we'd get the Philippines. It would not be necessarily terribly difficult Hang on. What's the supply limit here? 25? Right, and we'll just send these guys instead of all of them. But now that we've taken a huge chunk of them, it's, all subsequent wars of Mexico will be much easier just because we don't have to cover as large a geographical area. Hmm. Should I disband my red guys? N not unless they're below um, strength. Like this guy is below his strength, so we'll disband him. Okay, so we've got ten steamers down there. We're number one in prestige because we just got a shitload of it. Um, I know I said that that I want to have uh, my whoop, Kansas becomes a state. Do not extend slavery. Um. Oh, what the heck? Popped up there for a second. Hey man, come back. Come back, state. Oh, there it is. Nebraska. Do not extend slavery.
Okay, do we have any red guys here? We do... Huh. How are we going to charge San Juan Hill without cavalry? We need a cavalry. There's a cavalry, but he doesn't, he can't get reinforcements. Yeah. A cavalry. Come on, Mr. Roosevelt. Put this guy back on the border. Prussia actually starts with some engineers. I don't even know if they can build them. They start with them. Rebel scum. Oklahoma. Spain's relations. Speaking of relations, let's talk to England. I should really get my, um, stuff up with, uh, let's go for mechanical production. Um, army professionalism is a good idea, too. Muzzle loading rifles. I want to focus on my industry stuff to get that really up and rolling. Let's go for mechanical production first. That'll help out a lot. Okay, Spain apparently won their war. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and save the game and call it a session for now. Um, next time we were probably going to declare war on Spain to take uh, Cuba and any other islands that we can get within reason. Um, I'm not particularly worried about Austria and the Netherlands being able to do anything to me. I was worried about them being involved with France and England. So next time we'll do that, and uh, yeah, I'll continue doing this whenever I feel like it, um, and I don't want to work on my other projects and conversions.